As much as he tried to move on during his Sith career, Darth Vader would still be haunted by his Jedi past. This officially came true when he learned that Skywalker was trained by Obi-Wan Kenobi. Luke and the connection to the former Jedi had Darth Vader clamoring for more. He wanted to discover the location of Luke Skywalker no matter what the cost. And believe it or not, in canon, there is a particular story where Darth Darth Vader's fighting student, Sergeant Creel, went undercover and became Luke's lightsaber master, where he taught the young boy how to at least fight, and his goal was to gain as much information as possible so that he can relay it to his master. Through many events that followed, we have to talk about Gracchus the Hutt and his palace on Nar Shadda, which ultimately was invaded by Darth Vader and looted for Jedi treasure. For the purposes of time, we will begin with the rescue mission of Luke Skywalker. In fact, he was held captive by Gracchus the Hutt and forced to fight as a sort of a gladiator in a battle arena. What Luke wasn't aware of, however, was that a secret agent of the Empire had befriended him just so that he could get close. It was Sergeant Creel. After becoming a sergeant of the 501st Legion, he was then recruited by the Sith Lord Darth Vader for a deep undercover assignment to infiltrate Gracchus the Hutt's palace on Nar Shadda. However, Luke was mostly interested in the Hutt's artifact, most notably Ben Kenobi's journal. The Hutt had collected a number of ancient artifacts and especially black market Jedi artifacts, and he kept them in his palace located on Nar Shadda. As a matter of fact, when Luke Skywalker was first captured, Gracchus wanted him to open Jedi holocrons that he had in his possession. Stick around because those holocrons will come into play later in the video. What happened to Luke is that Gracchus kept Skywalker in his custody so the boy could fight an arena match against Congo the Disemboweler, who Gracchus believed would triumph, allowing the Hutt to say that this fight brought the death of the last Jedi. It is during this time that Creel approached Luke as means of becoming his fighting teacher, pretending and gaining information on the young pilot to report back to Vader. However, he never learned the pilot's name, only that he was on a path of greatness. Now, our band of heroes come into play. They jump on the mission to save young Luke Skywalker. In fact, as a last resort, Han, Leia, and Chewbacca are provided with lightsabers by R2-D2. In my opinion, the artists and the writers wanted this to resemble a minor aspect of the arena battle on Geonosis. As we move on, our band of heroes eventually saved Luke. He in fact escaped from the clutches of Creel, as the sergeant had him pegged and was about to take him to Vader. However, at that moment, Gracchus grabbed Creel by the throat and threatened to kill him. Luke took this chance to escape, and Creel, infuriated by this, ignited his lightsaber and disabled Gracchus' leg to capture him together with his squad. He then presented himself before his master, Lord Vader. All of the artifacts were now seized by the Empire and at the hands of Vader. He intentionally did this just to wipe out the last remnants of the Jedi Order. As Creel was informing him about the growing power of the still unknown rebel pilot, Vader told him that he will be crushed, same as the Rebellion, as he grabbed a Jedi holocron in his hand and proceeded to crush it completely with ease, mind you, while still talking to Creel. Insane. Just the sheer power and hatred he had shows that Canon did start off on the right note, even back on the 2015 comics. But tell me what you thought about this craziness down in the comments. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up on this video, hit that bell to get notified the moment a new video is up. Have an awesome day, my Star Wars friends, and may the Force be with you always.